Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be making quick and easy cushions and pillows in Blender. Well, pillow is not shown in these renders, but trust me, we will be working on it as well. But before we start, if you are new here or haven't subscribed already, then please subscribe. And if you want the finished blend file, you can get it on my Gumroad page. And if you love my work and want to support, you can follow me on my Patreon page as well. So back to Blender, we will not be deleting this cube today. Instead, we're going to press N. Set X dimensions to 45 cm, Y to 45 cm as well and Z to only 3 cm. Press period on your number keypad to zoom in on your selected model. Now tap to go to the edit mode, Control R to bring in an edge loop. Now Control B to bevel it. Yeah, something like that. Segments to 4. Alt left click to select the whole edge loop and then Ctrl B to bevel it again. Now once again, Alt left click to select the middle edge loop but we will not be beveling it this time. Instead we will turn on proportional editing, press S to scale, rotate the mouse wheel upward to make the circle of influence smaller. Now scale it down, make the circle of influence even more smaller. So we have something like that. Yeah, perfect. Now, like I said before, we will be making a pillar too. So shift D to duplicate. As to scale it along its Y axis or X axis, it's totally up to you. Yeah, something like that. Now select the cushion, back to the edit port. Control R to bring in a loop cut. Have at least 20 number of cuts. Control R again. And again, 20 number of cuts. Back to object mode and now for the pillow. Go to the edit mode, Ctrl R to place a loop cut. This time we will be using 40 number of cuts. Then Ctrl R again and 20 number of cuts. Back to object mode. Shift select both of them and GZ to move them upward. Now Shift A, bring in a plane and then scale it up. They are quite high. I should be bringing them down a little bit. Yeah, now select the plane, then go to the physics properties, select collision. The only changes we're gonna make here is to decrease the thickness to 0.01 and friction to 50. Also uncheck single face. Now select the cushion, in physics properties, select clock. Scroll down a bit, check pressure and then increase the pressure to 36. Then click on collision. Reduce distance to something like 0 0.007, check self collision and also reduce the distance to 0 0.001 and lastly in field weights, increase gravity to 1.5. Now we will be repeating the same process for the pillow as well. Pressure to 36, distance to 0 0.007, check self collision, change distance to 0 0.001 and finally gravity to 1.5. And always make sure you are on frame 1 while setting up cloth physics. And before I press play, I am gonna apply the scale on both of them. Select the cushion, press Ctrl A and select scale. And also for the pillow, Ctrl A, select scale. Now press play. Nice, I am totally loving the look. Now select the cushion, right click and shade smooth. Now same for the pillow, right click and shade smooth. And if you want them to not be so flat on the bottom, you can increase the pressure in cloth physics. But I think it's looking perfect. So now back to frame 1, I'm gonna quickly set up a scene. I'm gonna press play. You all can see they are not colliding with one another. Before I fix that, I think the cushion should be right about here. Yeah, perfect. Now I'm going to set a collision for all of them. 
select the pillow, click on collision in physics properties and just like for the plane, thickness to 0.01 and friction to 50. Now it's the same process for the rest of them. Press play again. And you can see they are totally colliding with one another. And yeah, they are looking perfect. I'm totally loving this result. Now our cloth simulation has done its part and we can apply it on our models in the modifiers tab. Apply cloth on all of them. And since there is no cloth simulation working, which means there is certainly no need for collision. So delete collision from all of them. Also delete it from the ground plane as well because uh, there's no need now. Our cushions and the pillow are simply matched now. We can move them, edit them. We can do whatever we want now. And if you want your models to look even more better, then use the subdivision modifier on all three of them. And now we will set up the materials. Go to the materials tab. Use any color of your own choice. Then increase the roughness to like 0.775. Now for the cushion. I should be turning on the viewpoint shading first, so at least uh, we all can see what's going on. Press 2 to make this material unique and then again choose a color. Yeah, this color is also looking so good. And now for the other cushion, press 3 again and just like before, simply choose a color. I'm gonna quickly set up a sky. Switch to cycles and turn on the render view. You can see they are looking quite nice. And if you're using the EV render engine, the results look awesome there as well. But uh, yeah, you have to check ambient occlusion and bloom, screen space reflections. Just like I said, you can see the result is still beautiful. You can even enhance the look by playing with the shadow settings and uh, change the look to medium high contrast. You can see, simply perfect. And that's it for today. I hope you loved the tutorial and if you did then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. See you soon in my next video. You all take care till then and happy blending.